What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Jake Shavink here, and we are continuing with our 2022 NFL Draft Profile Series, looking at UCLA wide receiver Kyle Phillips today, a guy who has some fans uh, in the draft media and draft circles on Twitter as well. Put together a pretty good uh, tape down at the Shrine Bowl of dusting some corners and 1v1s. But we're going to dive a little bit deeper in this video and, and go through it. Our videos, kind of how we do it on this channel. We go into scouting report first, kind of talk about his game. We'll get into some film, and then we'll we'll kind of talk projection and where we think he might go, where good fits are for him at the end. So let's dive into the scouting report first, and you're going to see it pop up on your screen here. And really want to highlight just a couple things. We won't go through it all, but really where Kyle Phillips really thrives is in the slot where he's against off coverage, where he can ID you know, leverage. He can see, okay, I'm out, guys outside of me. I need to work at him to create space to the inside, vice versa. If he sees a guy inside leverage, he does a great job of, again, attacking, stemming at guys, and great work at the top of his routes to manipulate defenders and create some space for himself. He has some short area bursts. He can hit a little bit of a gear, does so on some slot fades and uh, some over routes as well. A guy who, you know, he plays tough after the catch. He's, he's a bit creative as well after the catch. But really where he thrives is UCLA has asked him to kind of be on their line a little bit and to attach to their line as kind of a lead blocker, puller type player. He gets after it when he blocks. And that's really one of his best traits. Weaknesses, there's there's a couple things. I think when you look at it, overall, he's going to be defined to the slot. Just that's his size. He's, he's 5'11 and a quarter and 189 pounds. And just overall, I think, you know, you look at catching the football. You look what happens at the moment of truth of the catch point. The hand technique's not very good. There are some drops on tape. The catch radius isn't very big. He definitely body catches quite a bit and just is a guy who's not going to win very much through contact. And that's just kind of something that when you have some of these smaller guys with shorter arms, it's just kind of how it's going to go for him. But again, the route tree, a lot of outs, ins, it, Overall, not bad. I think you could add a little bit more to the tree, pivot routes and whatnot. But overall, not too shabby there. But again, could use a little bit of work. So let's dive in now into some film on Kyle Phillips and kind of show you all these strengths. All right, so let's get into some film here for Kyle Phillips. And we're going to start with how he does as a blocker. I think that's the most important one to kind of look at. And what we're going to see early here is on fourth and four, we're throwing a swing pass on fourth and four. A, a crazy idea, right? Obviously. But what you see with Phillips is they trust their guys to go make these blocks. And, and Phillips does that. Gets outside and is able to turn his defender in, create a huge lane here, and the running back's able to pick up the first. That's that's important here. Same thing. You're going to get a sweep here with a lead blocker. But what they need is Phillips to come down and block this linebacker, which he does. And sustains and hangs on long enough. That, that'll do for sure. And this is what we were talking about, though. Attached to the line of scrimmage with the line here. And you're going to get a double lead blocker, basically. You're going to get a couple guys to pull on this jet sweep. And Phillips is going to be one of them. Again, got to get in this hole. And he does a good job getting to his guy. Guy ends up on the ground. That'll work. Same thing here. Going to get the same thing. But again, Phillips gets out in front, which he needs to do. And corner's going to dip underneath this to try and make a play, trip up the running back. But Phillips comes in, finishes him off. Great job there uh, setting up a touchdown. So now as a receiver here, Phillips, again, he's working against off coverage. So what he needs to do here, he's running a slot fade. And break down, jab step to get inside and kind of freeze this guy. Got some burst through the, through that stem there. And really, probably one of his better catches Uh that we saw on film, just go up and get the football high point it really well, arrogant hands. Not something you often see in the film, but that's okay. Here's what we kind of didn't mention in the Sky Report is one of the highlights uh, earlier, but was on there was his ability to identify coverage, find space and zone. Here he does that. It's a good job. Corners kind of working to this outside here in the flat of this zone, find space between two defenders, and then a good job already kind of turning his body as he's catching this to get up field it tries to make a man miss nearly does but again that that catch to attack post catch is post catch is important you saw that a little bit there with phillips here again stay sudden foot fire kind of jab to the inside kind of okay i'm going to sell the slot fade right and you just saw him do so right so this is again showing okay i've got the toolbox i'm going to set up guys 
And that's just kind of a film thing because Oregon, again, probably saw this and said, okay, he sets up slot fade. Eyes went obviously down the field. Corners already kind of moving that way, momentum wise, able to sink the hips, stay efficient through the turn here. And again, good body control uh, for Kyle Phillips. He does a great job, especially near the sideline, to get two feet down. Multiple instances of that on tape. So here's a really good one. I want to back this up just because this is one of the best ones here you're going to get from him. Corners kind of got inside leverage. It's pretty even, but again, corners aligned just a little bit inside here. So what's Phillips going to do? I'm stemming to the outside. I'm going to move you off your spot, and I'm going to get open over the middle of the field here. So he does. Corner shuffles. Again, still playing pretty well here, but... Once he's getting to that that kind of moment of truth at the top of the stem here, able to sink the hips, and he uses hands, good swim move to get around the defender. Unfortunately, he wasn't found here by the quarterback, already trying to escape the pocket, but he's open. That's really, I think, one of his best reps because you see how good he is at, again, this guy's got inside leverage. I'm going to move him off his spot. He does that with guys. It's an impressive trait that he has. So this is a fun one with the ball in his hands here. And you're going to see, again, two defenders here really shouldn't be a touchdown. But again, little rocker steps. Stay creative with your feet to kind of deceive defenders. One ends up on the ground. This is Derek Stingley. Good stiff arm. Says, you're not going to drag me down. You're not going to arm tackle me. I'll get off that and I'll score. He's a good job after the catch. He's not like overly dynamic, but he's tough to bring down. And he's creative with his footwork to kind of deceive defenders. So again, here we go. Gain ground on a guy. Don't tip your hand. Stays efficient through this turn. Hip sink. Got space. Go up high point the ball. And what he does here is once he lands, this is good short area burst to kind of get up field and pick up more yardage post catch. Against Fresno State. Same thing. Defenders kind of got inside on him here. And he's going to kind of try to close this off. So what you got to do, you got to jab at him to kind of make him freeze so I can get through this stem and I can get to the to the corner here and make this play. So it's a good job here. And save the best one for last for you. This is a blocking rep again, but one of my favorites because, again, dump to Zach Charbonnet here. Watch what he's going to do. This is I'm going full tilt at you. You're going to end up on the ground like I did. And that's enough. That'll be enough for Charbonnet to pick up, again, an extra 20, 25 yards if he didn't block there. So that's just, again, the blocking, the ability to ID coverage, create space as a route runner, find space and zone, all these things that, that Phillips does make him a, a really dynamic and fun slot receiver to, to study because he's just, again, he's so attuned. The football IQ is there with him. So really a, a fun player to talk about. And I think for me, he's probably going to be great in the mid round area, round three, round four, probably going to be a day three guy. The receiver class is deep as we know. So I expect him to come off the board in day three. Now where that's interesting, because I think what you've seen as a blocker from him and him being attached to the line, I think teams will see, okay, this guy's a good blocker. He gives that effort. And so you look at it like Sean McBay, and the Rams. They love 11 personnel. They like blockers. They need to have that guy in the slot. So is that a spot for him? Maybe. Maybe. I, I wouldn't rule it out. Obviously, you have Cooper Cup there who can do it as well. But you have Cup and Robinson. Maybe they're bringing back OBJ. Who knows? But if they don't, who knows, Skarnick. But like Kyle Phillips would be a guy that, again, I think you can attach to the line and, and he'll be effective as a blocker. Same in Minnesota. Obviously, O'Connell going there now. Was under McVay last year. Adam Thielen getting older. Do they like Amir Smith Marset as a deep threat? You have Jefferson and Osborne there, but if you're an 11 a lot, which they might be, you know, do you want to have that guy in Phillips who can who can be in the slot, work well against coverage, and add that blocking element? So we'll see how that works with Phillips. Those are two fits that I would keep an eye on. I don't know if the Rams are going to draft receiver on day three again. I don't imagine they're going to open things up like they did with Atwell, but. Who knows? We'll see. But those are two fits to watch. I mean, the Browns do need receivers. I'm not sure how high they're going to be on him. So we'll see. There's there's interesting fits all over the place. But again, when you have when you're in 11 a lot as the NFL is to find a guy who can separate in the slot, that's that's an important thing. So teams will be lining up on day three. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on Kyle Phillips. This was a fun one to put together. He, he's a fun player for sure. So throw a like down there. Really helps me out. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Got more 2022 NFL draft profiles coming and more just draft videos in general leading up. Mocks, live shows, stuff like that leading up to the draft and post-draft. So stick along for the ride. It's going to be a fun 2022. And I will see you guys in the next video. Farewell.